this light move nine, I am playing Fire Emblem Path of Fury. Pat no, 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 Radiant Dawn. It's okay to save. <laughs> and we're on chapter six still? What? We should be on chapter seven. But it still said we're on chapter six. Oh, it's doing this again. The Librarian Army Sleeping Victory seems to signal a turn in the war for Holiday Inn. However, General Jared uses his superior numbers to harry the group and threaten their fragile momentum. Bad Jared. Begion has fortified its army with weapons and supplies brought with funds bought with funds stolen from Holiday Inn. Begion has also purchased the swords of a vast number of mercenaries from these same stolen funds. How dare they? The Librarian Army does not want for willing fighters of the, of the however most are old men and ex inexperienced boys whose passion for far outstretched their skill. <laughs> the Librarian Army has no choice. It must bolster its ranks if it is to meet Begneon on equal terms. It only hope its only hope lies in the Begneon's prison camps, where Holiday Inn's former soldiers await their tri the. Okay, that's over. Chapter seven: A Gathering Hope. Oh, don't remind me of hope. I don't like hope from Final Fantasy 13 2. I mean, not 13 2, 13. Ugh, I did not like hope. I hated hope. Anyway, look, tents. Where did all the horses go? Where did all the horses go? Weren't there horses, like, everywhere? Okay, well, whatever. Ahem, as General Staff Officer of Holiday Inn's Librarian Army. Yes, I know, that's liberation. I'm not stupid. I just like to th to say things wrong. I like to call Crimea crummy land, and I like to call Day and Holiday Inn. Don't judge me. You should know me by now if you've been watching from the beginning of Path the Radiance Part One, whatever. Allow me to outline my latest strategy. I think I pressed the wrong button. Oh well, whatever. Our next target shall be Umunu. Oh, Umu. What? Umano? Never heard of it. Among all the work camps, it is one of the largest. Conditions with the prison camp are harsh. If we are to save the prisoners, every moment, every moment matters. One of the largest work camps. Can our forces handle that? Such a trivial concern, and one my profound genius has already addressed. Behold this lake next to the camp that provides fresh water to all there. Under this lake, we shall dump a deadly toxin of my own devising. Then we sit back as the enemy slowly dies. Oh, okay, so we're gonna poison people. That's cool. What are you saying? Poison is, is, is an excusably vile. I will agree no to no such plan. Oh, Micaiah, this is war. You have literally probably zapped a person so hard with light that their their insides have exploded. Okay, I don't think that poisoning people is such a bad thing, especially if they can't even feel that they're dying. I mean, one day they just go to sleep and they never wake up. That sounds a lot more peaceful than Soth getting his daggers and... <coughs> to a couple of people. I mean, have you seen his crits? They're, uh, they're pretty, uh, vile. <laughs> they're... Have, you, have you seen Toro Neo over here with his javelin throws? And his, his lance, pluck. I mean, he stabs people dead. And Volug, he rips people's heads off. I don't see anything wrong with this. I agree with it. It's much better than going right into battle and killing people directly. Much, much better. <laughs> what was that? Wee! You! You! How dare you question my plan conceived in a state of exalted med meditation? No matter how misguided the enemy may be, we must fight with compassion and consideration for the innocent. I excuse me, how do you fight with compassion? <laughs> do you just go up to someone and, and you have your sword or whatever and you're like, Excuse me, sir. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for this, but uh, I love you. You're a great person. I'm sure you have a, a wonderful wife and kids, but uh, I gotta decapitate you. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> okay. Yeah, whatever. She's right. <laughs> what, what, what voice was that? <laughs> She's right. Poison doesn't discriminate. Prisoners would die too, and any nearby villages would be affected. Now, see, that point of view, I agree with. Uh, you see, I. 
I can get behind what Soth is saying. The prisoners might drink the water and also die, or nearby villages who drink from the same lake would also die, and also the fish and animals that live in the lake would die, probably. Uh, depending on what your poison can do. So, uh, yeah, that, that I agree with. Now, if we were just poisoning one well, then I wouldn't agree so much. Because, I mean, maybe only the camp would get water from that well, but still the prisoners would die, so there'd be no point. Okay, well, whatever. I'm done analyzing things. And then what would happen? People would doubt us, question our cause, maybe even side against us, and it would cast a stain on Prince Peleus' name, don't you think? Uh, yeah, darn. Fine, then, do as you like, and when you find your cider and none of them, my voice... <laughs> And when you find yourselves utterly defeated, you can come crawling back to me. Whee! I'm leaving. Arr, I hate these children. Peasants. My apologies to both of you. When Lord Izuka gets excited, he can lose all sight of reason. He he's like a teenager. I apologize too, General Tornio. He stormed out because I... You needn't apologize. You are in the right. I would never condone the use of poison. However, this does mean we must devise another plan if we are to have any hope of victory. Yes, you're right. In that case, what do you think of this strategy? <laughs> okay, let's see what Micaiah can come up with, because I can't come up with a different thing. Oh, okay, she didn't tell us. That's... that's cool. That's cool, Micaiah. Well, can you get more support with Soph? Of course you can't. Of course you can't. Of course, of course not. Volag, you can actually get support with Micaiah. Holy crud, but only Micaiah. Edward, can you get more support with- Oh, yes you can! I did- I did, Again, I did not see the t bonuses. Whatever, plus two in attack, plus three in defense, plus eight in hit. That's not too bad. Though, I gotta admit, Soth and Micaiah's looks better. Like, uh, just, yeah, I, uh, okay, whatever. Uh, Laura, can you get Aaron? It, se it seems to- Yeah, support raised to B. I didn't look- and what it was before, so I have no idea <laughs> what the improvement was. God dang it. Okay, I'll look I'll look at this one. They can't get it stronger. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Can you get it with Jill? Oh, you can, but what if I don't want you to get with Jill? I want you to get with the cat person, but what if we don't meet a cat person? <sighs> and I want Jill to go with Har, because you know we might meet Har, unless he's dead forever. Uh, I hope not. I wonder I did you two, right? Yep, Nolan... How about... No, I just said I wanted Jill with Par. Okay, well. I guess we'll just do nothing then. Nice. Award EXP. How much EX... Ooh, we got some EXP right there. <sighs> okay, you need some stuff. <laughs> Because Edward is lacking a little bit. Now he's at level 10. And he still probably sucks. But uh, most of the people in this army suck. Only four people are really good. And it's just so sad. This game is so hard. It's no fair. I'm gonna get you to level 12, Leo. Dun, 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 dun. Bring, bring. Okay, or not. There we go. Speed, luck, skill. Not that great. Oh well, whatever. What about you, to level 11? Da 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 da. And. Yay, one strength. Okay, that's what I was hoping for. That's what I wanted. How much do we have left? A bit, a bit. We have a bit. Go to level 9, Micaiah. Da 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 da. And you're at level 9. And yay, you got one of magic. That's what I was hoping for. Nolan, I want you at 15. Da, 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 da. What'd you get? One strength, one strength, one... Oh, okay, or not. That's... That's fine. That's fine. That is fine. Edward is on par with Nolan in terms of skill. Okay, I was like, in terms of strength, but no, I was reading the wrong one. Okay, well, Edward's only one below. So why does Edward suck so much? I don't know. Maybe it's just because I don't use him. I should probably try using him, and then maybe I'll see. Edward doesn't suck. Yeah. 
that'll probably happen. Let's get him to level 12. Okay, I was hoping for one in strength, but nope. Nope. It's literally like a, like gambling. Uh, I hate that. Meg. Here, you need to carry your weight around here. So I should probably level you up, huh? And what does level 5 bring you? Not, not good things, that's for sure. How about we level you up one more time to level 6? Strength, 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 Mmm, same three. Okay, well, whatever. Okay, we can do three more levels completely. I don't know. I just don't know at all. He doesn't need it, he doesn't need it, and he doesn't need it. We know that. Should we get these two to level 13? Lucky 13? Wait, what? Yeah, look at that. What is- that doesn't make sense. We have Bonix experience, we have 398. We give Leo 61 experience, and we only have one left. How does that make any sense? Okay, what if we give you 30, right? And then we give Edward the other 30. See, you two are sharing. <laughs> well, 31, whatever. Okay, there you go, now. Now that's all their... Uh, sign. What's this do? God dang it, what's Y? Hmm, E, R. D, F, T, Q, W. Uh, it's S. Okay, S is Y. That's not the one I wanted. Doubles experience points gained. Oh, that's good. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. I don't know who to give that to. Hmm. Who do I want to get more? She is. Hmm. He can't get it. And neither can he. Unless we got rid of Wrath and cancel him. Why would I want to do that? He can get it. But why would I want him to? I don't want him to level up faster. I would like Edward or Leo to level up faster because I want them to be good, you know? What about Nolan? Can Nolan get it? No. No, Nolan can't get it unless I get rid of Nihil. Why would I want- Why? That's so stupid. That's so dumb. Okay, uh, what, what about her? Can she- No. She can't even get it. She can't even get it. She can't get it. She can't get it. Again, what is the point of getting these skills? Okay, he can get it. Why? Why would I- he's good too! Now she I don't know about because I haven't even tried, so why would I- Oh wait, I can't. I can't. What does she have already? How do I- How do I, uh- <sighs> Gotta be careful on this screen, I just wanna look at her stuff. Restores HP equal to this unit's magic power each turn. That's cool. Eliminate skill and speed penalties for carrying a traveler. Okay, and Kanto. Kanto? She's a Pokemon trainer? She's Ash Ketchum in disguise. It allows a unit that has not moved its full movement range to move the remaining amount at the end of its turn. Okay, so basically like what a freaking horse person does. I just realized she's the first person on horseback that we got. Oh, that's cool. Can Aaron learn it? Oh, okay, I just backed out. Can a- no. Why? 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 Now I don't know if I should waste it on Zihark, eh, or just wait, or just wait for, for better stuff. I don't freaking. Uh, I hate this. No, I don't want to leave the base. I want to save first. That way, just in case I accidentally do leave the base, I'll have saved so I can quit and go back. <laughs> okay, we need more items because I know. Oh, first of all, put stuff in the convoy. Give that to the convoy. Soth, you can you can give that to the convoy. 
Vola, you're good. Yeah, you're way good. You're way good, of course, because you haven't even used this crud. I'm just gonna give this and that to the convoy. Uh, Nolan is good. Uh, he needs more weapons. Well, it's a good. It's his lucky day. I've got a lance just for him. Um, she's good. She's good. He's not so great, but he rarely attacks, so why why would I care? He's good. She's good. She's okay. She's okay. He's okay. Okay. Now, mm, she's okay for now. He's okay. Mm, he's always okay because he doesn't need any weapons. Leo is good, and that's good. Who needs a steel sword? Do you need a steel sword? You have a lot of iron swords, but do you need a steel one? Do you need a steel one? You know what, I'm gonna give it to him, because he only has one, and it's not that great. <laughs> there, do we have anything else in the convoy? No, I just wanted to see the convoy stock. So let's go to the shop. And let's sell this. Okay, that's nice and all, but I just wanted to sell the thingy, the red orb, the re the red gem, not the red orb. I give you two thousand five hundred. Okay, great. That's all. That's all. That's all. Get away before I accidentally sell something. Can we go to the armory? Mmm, sucks. Mmm, sucks. Mmm, sucks. Mmm, sucks. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. I want to give him a knife, cause, ah, but it's so, ah, it's so sucky though, it's so sucky, why is the knife the only one that can, like, hit people from far away, the other two can't, that's so stupid, it's so stupid, thunder, elf, thunder, light, l light, we don't need that, no, we didn't need any of that, Jesus. Let's go to the shop. What are you looking for? I don't know. Anything. I didn't look to see if everyone had volunaries. Wind edge, an iron longbow, secret book. What does that do again? Increase the skill by two. That's pretty nice, but I don't have money for that. And arm scroll. Mmm, that's pretty nice, but I don't have money for it. Okay, let's, let's look at... Okay, never mind. I was gonna see if I could... Get on my face. I was gonna see if I could look at the everyone's inventory. She's got herbs, that's fine. He's got two vulnerabilities, that's not great. He's got herbs, that's not great. Herbs, herbs, and vulnerary. Vulnerary. He hasn't even used his, look at that. Vulnerary's nothing, she doesn't need anything. Herbs, she's good. Vulnerary, she's good. Vulnerary, she's good. Vulnerary, he's good. They're, they've all got vulnerabilities, they're all good. Except for maybe Volk. I mean, not Volk, Soth. Who's uh, no, I don't want to leave the base. Don't want to go to the armory either. I want to go to the shop. Get myself some more bullinaries. Just one for Soth. Yes, that's, that's all I wanted. Goodbye. I don't want to go to the forge. I mean, there's no weapon of the day. We're poor as dirt. <laughs> Library. Let's see. Um, Toro Neo was the... Frick, I forgot. <laughs> the MVP. Yeah, it's right there. The MVP of uh, Chapter 6. And we got a, a heck of a ton of bonus experience from that. That's cool. Terms? Um, characters? Anyone new? Anyone new? Anyone new? Anyone new? Anyone new? Oh, here we go. New Minda. A member of the Bagnian Senate. He is the Duke of New, new Minda. And, uh, commander of the Imperial Occupation Army. A man of terrible avarice, avarice, whatever, avarice. He has subjected all day into numerous atrocities. Oh, that sounds lovely. Bryce, hey, there's Bryce! He looks the same. I forgot his voice. A knight who served the kings of Holiday Inn. He was one of the legendary warriors known as the Great Riders. He gave his life for his country. Oh. Yeah, I killed him. He's dead. <laughs> okay. Aaron! 
Aaron's not dead. What? Patrine? Did we talk about Patrine? Okay, well, whatever. A, a night of holiday in... Oh my god, I'm talking like the... No. A night of holiday in... She was a cruel and brutal fighter who served as one of King Ashnard's four riders. She was loyal to the king and died in his name during the Mad King's War. Yep, we murdered her dead. Fiona! The Lord of the... In the Lord... Actually, I think we already read this. Okay, Bertram. Hey, I remember Bertram. A knight of holiday and who possessed an eerie presence, and whose face has always hidden behind his helm. He was one of the nation's four riders, but was defeated by Crummy in the Mad King's War. Great! Yeah, we already read his. Yeah, man. La, La Vega. La Ve Wait, who was the guy we just killed? It was La Another something, right? Oh, well, he's not in here. Whatever, La Vega. The former lord of the independent territory Morado. He served the former king's Holiday Inn, and along with Gawain, Bryce and Tornito was one, Toronio was one of the famed great riders. Great for them. The guy we just killed isn't in here. Okay, well, whatever. And I did that. Wait, whoa, 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 it did what stuff got complicated, whoa. Okay, Len Vega, parents and children, sh okay, oh, oh, four riders. This is a really messed up tree, four, four riders, the great riders, we haven't even, what, Toro Neo is a great rider? Okay, the four riders, Bryce, Bertram, they're dead, between, this is gonna be the Black Knight, isn't it? Mmm, I can see that coming. Okay, Izuka protects Peleus, great. Uh, Batrine was loyal to Ashnard. That's great. Uh, Almeida and Ashnard. Wait a minute. This says this says parents and children question mark. This doesn't have a question mark. This has a question mark. So what if Peleus isn't their actual son? What if everything's wrong here? Oh, they're they're making me question it now. I mean, I was already sort of barely questioning it, but now I'm really questioning it. Jill's just up here in the corner, because why not? Um, still nothing there. Senators, commands... Okay, so M Numida commands Jared. I thought it was the other way around. Okay, uh, Daniel and George are twins. Thanks for pointing that out. <laughs> I think I always thought they were twins, or maybe they already said that they were twins, and I just didn't pay attention until now. Okay, so Raphael and Nyla are allies. Why are these three not connected and say that they're siblings? Because they're siblings, man. We know that, shiz. And I think the other square over there is going to be their dad or something. Right, okay, good. Nice to know that we got everything. Let's get out of here. I don't even know how I got in there. Okay, well, whatever. Let's go to characters. That's how we got in there. Terms? Terms. Okay, so, we're gonna... I don't even remember where we were. So we'll just... To go. I think we stopped after Hitari. There we go. So, you guys can pause and read if you like. I'll probably stay about on here for like three seconds each. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, one Mississippi, two Mississippi. Why is there two humans? Okay, whatever. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Okay, great. We're done. We're done. We're done. Get out. Let's go to info. I almost forgot about that. View companions? Yes, let's talk to our companions. Uh, these are, well, okay. We could have said Meg and Zihark, but no, just companions. Gonna make me regret pairing Meg up with Liana and not Zihark. Okay, whatever. Uh, hello. Oh, hello there. I forgot my voice. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> hello? Y yes, hello. Now that we have established, uh, that, so w what can I do for you, you creepy child? Um, I, uh, I, uh, I'm Meg. Yes, I know. It's nice to meet you, Meg. That's a very nice... <gasps> I just had flashbacks to when Zihar called Brom the perfect daddy. <laughs> <laughs> but 
no, that's not all. Brom said he had a child, right? God, now I'm questioning if his name was even Brom. <laughs> Brom said he had a kid, and he said that his kid was about Zhark's age or something, right? And that he would make a fine man for her or something stupid like that? I don't know. Maybe I'm making stuff up in my head, but he did mention that he had a daughter. A lot of kids, actually. And one of them was near Zyark's age or whatever. So maybe Meg, Meg said she wanted to go to the desert to marry a guy. So maybe Meg was looking for Zyark the whole time. Oh, he's going to totally reject her and it's going to be hilarious. I mean, it's going to be sad. I'm sorry. <laughs> He only has eyes for your father, Meg. I'm sorry, I can't help it. Yes, I know. It's very nice to meet you, Meg. That's a very nice name. I get I get it. You're you're Meg, okay? That's not a very nice name, actually. It reminds me of Family Guy. <laughs> and uh I I'm from Crummy. Yeah, okay. I'm I'm one step ahead of you. I heard of that too. You're far away from home right now, aren't you? Quite an independent girl, eh? Um, in my village? It's called Oma. Oh, Oma. It's called Oma. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're from Oma? Now that's something I did not know. Yes. Then you must know Brom. Hold on a second. You look exactly like him. Are you two related? <laughs> I didn't even know Brom was from Oma. That's how much you know that Zihart cares about o Brom. Oma. About Oma. <laughs> That's that's Brom's daughter. Uh... Okay, I'm done. <laughs> we sure are. I'm his daughter, his youngest daughter. Oh, oh. Okay, she's not the other person then. Okay, whatever. Oh, I've heard stories. He loves to tell me about his kids. He said that you could lift a full-grown cow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's nice to meet the person I've heard so much about. How is Brom? Doing well? How are your other siblings? How many other siblings did you did he have? I don't remember. Yes, yes, he is. He works all the time. I wish he would slow down. Ah, oh, yes. Well, it's good to hear he's staying busy. Brom, huh? Wow. Brings back memories. <laughs> he was the perfect daddy. <laughs> Well, if you're his daughter, I, I'll do whatever I can to help you. You said you were looking for somebody. Who is this person? Well, he's my... he's my fiancé. How could any guy leave a girl like you? What's this lucky guy's name? What's he like? Uh, I'm cringing so hard because I think it's gonna be Zihark, and... This moment's gonna be so awkward, but every single moment in this game is awkward, you know? Well, he's standing right in front of me, and oh my god, I swear. I'm sorry, I'm sure I've misheard you. Can you repeat that? <laughs> I don't know what, she, what he said after that. I didn't read the whole thing. God dang it. Oh dear. Oh my god. My daddy told us years ago that he was going to marry one of us to a really nice friend of his, a mercenary named Zhark. <laughs> I think he actually, uh, meant, <laughs> I, th I think he mixed his words around. I think he w meant to say, uh, <laughs> that he was gonna marry Zihark. <laughs> Whoa, hey now, you're a rock star. I mean, all star. I don't, uh, <laughs> play. <laughs> but my older sister got married last year, so I came instead. Okay, so that makes a lot of sense. Mm. Oh, it's so nice to finally meet my husband. Meg, look, this is kind of crazy, but I just met you, and I'm not going to give you my number. <laughs> Zihark, I'm sure I still have a lot to learn and a lot of growing to do since I look like I'm 14 and you look like you're 20-something. But whatever, but after meeting you, I just know we'll live happily ever after. Meg, I need you to listen very closely. Oh, don't worry. I'll work hard every waking moment to become a good wife, even during a fight. See you later, poop poop comes. <laughs> and just when you think it can't get any worse, she just has to say that! What the freak? What kind 
kinds of things were these people smoking when they made this game? <laughs> Meg, wait. Wow, she's downright pushy. She must get that from her old man. Oh, you would know that, wouldn't you, <laughs> the Ark? And did she just call me Pookums? Yes, I'm afraid she did, Zihark. And, uh, that's, uh, that, um, let's, uh, let's look, let's talk to Peleus. <laughs> hey, Peleus. Sorry to call you here like this. Forgive me. I sound a bit like Zihark, but I'm gonna try not to sound like Zihark, but it's kind of hard. It's quite alright, whatever, Zihark. <laughs> Can I pour you some tea? Or is there something else you would prefer? I'm fine, thank you. What do you want to speak with me about? I know you are angry with me. Please forgive me. Angry with you for what? Why am what? Can you tell me why you stopped showing up at our meetings? Oh, she's angry at him for that? It was at Azuka's request. You are the leader of this army! I just popped my knuckle! You cannot simply leave all the decisions to someone else! Hey, that's what I did. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll ask Azuka before the next meeting. I need his permission to attend. Why? You're the prince! Why should you need any man's permission, much less your own advisors? Micaiah, chill. <laughs> Yes, I am the prince, but I owe much to Azuka. After all, I mean, I am prince just be because he found me. You know? He taught me everything I needed to know to become a proper member of the royal family. I don't care if he's a crazy old man. He's my crazy old man. He, con he contacted Thoroneo and some other senators from Holiday Inn for help. Without his power and influence, I would never have mustered an army or met my own mother. I see. You were alone. Yeah, yeah, great, like, just like you were, Micaiah, right? Yeah, yeah, you were alone, just like me, oh, that's so attractive, somehow. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> and then Azuka reunited you with your mother, and you gave you a place to stay, and provided you with a reason to live. Okay. Every time I hear those words, I get terrible flashbacks of the past. <laughs> and you feel you owe him a debt of gratitude for ending your loneliness, or whatever. That's why you try to do as, as you told, as Azuka wishes. Nikaya, you're... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. That was inappropriate. I probably shouldn't... You're amazing. Oh, am amazing? Oh, is this where we ditch Soth and run away together? You really can read minds. I'm simply amazed. You saw right through me. Oh, please, you shouldn't have to read minds. I got that from just hearing you talk. Okay, whatever. I didn't know he was alone at all. <laughs> That's... Sorry, I got too excited. Look at me, I'm sweating. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, next time I get excited in front of a group of people, I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna be like, sorry, I got too excited. Look at me, I'm sweating, guys. <laughs> people are gonna be like, what? Lightning, you're even weirder than we thought you were. Prince Peleus! What is it? Why are you looking at me like that? That mark! What mark? Oh, that. What, does he have a mark on his forehead that he's hiding? I don't see it. What is it? Mark where? It's called the Spirit's Protection. The source of all magic in this world is tied to the power of the spirits. When you make a pack with such spirit, its power manifests on your body like this. So, you joined a cult? Okay. I see! You joined a cult! What am I saying? You already knew all of this, of course. You have the Spirit's Protection, too. I do? Where? I saw you washing your hands the other day. Oh, I see. I, s I saw you washing your hands. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of weird. When I walked up to you to say hello, I saw the mark on your right hand. You saw... I thought of confiding in you right away, but my mother called from me. Or whatever. I didn't get any chance to tell you until now. It's just very convenient. Do you think this mark is really the spirit's protection? Oh. You didn't enter the pact yourself? No! I see. So it must have been the spirit who wished to make a part with you. Why do I even know what I'm saying? Pardon? It's a very rare phenomenon among newborns. It usually happens to infants who have an exceptional talent for magic. You truly are amazing, Micaiah. Oh, like what happened with Robin? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> that was not, not the same thing. I got a mark on my forehead. It's called a beauty mark. And people used to call it a mole and make fun of me for it for half of my life. And it's a tiny little thing, too. Like, really tiny. Like, uh... I don't know, smaller than a marble. 
that's that's how small it is and kids used to make fun of me for it because they couldn't make fun of anything else because I'm too sexy in the other words hey it's a beauty mark man it knows I'm beautiful <laughs> I was marked with beauty <laughs> whatever I don't know about that let's keep this among ourselves we don't want people to confuse us with the branded what's the branded what are the branded yeah please answer I'm pretty sure it refers to Bayork who have Lagoo's blood in their veins. Oh, okay. I know it's hard to imagine with someone with the blood of a subhuman running through their veins. Excuse me, that's inappropriate. Anyway, I've been terribly mistreated by people who thought I was one of the branded. Thoughts? I don't see a mark. Where is this mark you're speaking of? Micaiah? Oh, sorry. I think I understand more about you now and about the marks we share. Are you the branded, Micaiah? Hmm. I'm glad I was able to tell you. I'm surprised you didn't know. Come talk to me again sometime. Certainly! Oh, I almost forgot. Here, I wanted to give you this. What is it? It's the splendid sword I recently acquired. I give it, it gives its wielder the upper hand in battle. Keep it or give it to whomever you like. Why would Micaiah keep it? She can't use a sword. Why would you even give a sword to a magic user? What's wrong with you? Shouldn't you give it to the soldier you deem most worthy? No, I wouldn't want the soldiers thinking I'm giving anyone special treatment. It would be inappropriate. That's what Azuka says anyway. So I think you should do it. I understand. You must have so much on your mind. Indeed. I long for the old days when I was poor, but had few worries. Okay, whatever. Prince Pelias. I don't wish for the day when I was poor and living in an apartment talking to people all through the wall. <laughs> I was three, though, so it was still kind of cheery and fun. Even though the beds were infested with ants. <laughs> But I'll keep fighting. I won't stop until Holiday Inn is free once more. Hear, hear! Hear, hear! Hear, hear! Hear! You got a brave sword. Oh, I love brave swords. Oh, I know who to give it to. Oh, I know who to give it to. Look, Zihark, you got your killer killing edge. You're fine. But you don't need to trade with Leo. That's not what you need to do. You need to, need to give the iron sword because F iron swords except for kindness kindness the only iron sword I need you need to trade with Mikaya and get that sweet sweet sword oh it's so sweet let's salve let's save <laughs> think I'll I'll battle later I got it I'm starving <laughs> anyway BRB